Herbalife is a multi-billion dollar, multi-level marketing supplement company that was forced to pay hundreds of millions of dollars to settle charges of deception and corrupt business practices. It also holds the distinction of being the dietary supplement most frequently implicated in injuring the livers of consumers. Herbal does not mean innocuous. Cases of severe liver toxicity associated with herbal life supplements started to be published in 2007 around the world. As the accompanying editorial summarized, there were 22 cases of liver damage following herbal life intake in the first two reports, with two patients developing fulminant liver failure, requiring liver transplantation. Only one survived. The editorial concluded that this clearly shifts the risk-benefit ratio against its use. Maybe it's contaminated with chemicals or heavy metals, maybe due to contamination with a liver-toxic bacteria found in implicated products. Additional reports continued to be published, followed by rebuttals written by Herbalife company representatives questioning cause and effect, no small task given that people were taking up to 17 different Herbalife products at one time. So how strong is the evidence? A key factor to look for is re-challenge tests, or positive re-exposure. Uh, did someone decide to take the product again after the initial liver injury resolved, and did their symptoms return on re-challenge? Based on stringent causality assessment methods like positive re-exposure tests, cause and effect is considered probable for at least a few Herbalife products. There's such a moving target, though, with hundreds of different products marketed globally in over 88 markets, where in many cases the formula is unique to a region. Positive rechallenge cases continue to be published, confirming the toxic cause of liver damage from Herbalife products, perhaps by triggering an autoimmune reaction. This fatal case of a 24-year-old woman was attributed to Herbalife products, which were evidently found to contain heavy metals, traces of a psychotropic recreational agent, and pathogenic bacteria. The paper was subsequently taken down for quote-unquote legal reasons after legal threats by Herbalife. Liver Talks is a federal initiative between the National Institutes of Health and the National Library of Medicine to categorize the likelihood that substances can damage the liver all the way up to the highest likelihood, Category A, meaning it's a well-known, well-described, and well-reported cause of liver damage, and that's exactly how it characterized Herbalife supplements, a well-established cause of clinically apparent liver injury.